side by side with the man he will soon be succeeding. President-elect Emmanuel Macron joined the outgoing president, Francois Hollande, this morning at a ceremony to mark VE Day, just hours after his own decisive victory. Last night, his supporters celebrated outside the Louvre in Paris. At 39, Mr. Macron will become the country's youngest ever president, a remarkable achievement for a man who's never run for office before. He was a high school student when he met his wife, Brigitte, who joined him as he addressed the crowds. Tonight you won, he said. France won. They told us it was impossible, but they don't know France. His opponent, Marine Le Pen, danced away her defeat last night. He beat the far-right candidate with 66 to 34 percent of the vote and is now promising to unite a divided nation. Emmanuel Macron is a former banker who only joined the government three years ago. Last year, he resigned to set up a new movement called En Marche. He's pro-business and pro-EU. In his election manifesto, he described Brexit as a crime. In February, Macron visited Downing Street amid fears a pro-EU president could be tricky for Brexit. But today, the Prime Minister was quick to congratulate him, and some analysts say his victory could be good for Britain. Ultimately, I think because Macron allows the EU to breathe a sigh of relief, to be more self-confident and more unified in, this, in these negotiations, Britain is facing a more likely prospect of getting a good Brexit deal. Emmanuel Macron will take over the presidency on Sunday. He's won the election, but he now has to deliver on his promises. And that will be the real challenge ahead. Leila Hayes, 5 News.